Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and tonight Four Kicks Black Belt Buckle by Crowned Heads. Uh, I am a very big fan of the Four Kicks original cigar by Crowned Heads. It is a delicious, uh, robust, medium to full-bodied cigar with an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and Nicaraguan fillers. This is a slight, uh, slight tweak to the formula uh, with a uh, Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper instead of the Ecuadorian Habano. It's very dark, chocolatey, Practically no visible veins, very tight seams. Beautiful cigar. This is the Corona Gordo. Five and five eighths by forty two, forty eight, forty six. One of those. Forty something. Forty six I believe it is. I will check on that though. At any rate, uh, this is my third attempt at doing a review of the cigar. Unfortunately, the first two I had, and this happens, it rarely happens, it's, it hasn't happened to me in a long time, but it happened with both of the two that I tried to review before were plugged. They were plugged at the I, I got about mm, about an inch and a half into the first one couldn't smoke it anymore second one I got about a little bit more than half just plugged I tried poking holes in them I tried everything I could to to open up that channel and it was just was rolled so tightly at the upper end that once the tobacco warmed up inside and expanded it just sealed off now I got these from famous cigars and called them up told them about it and being the great people they are at famous cigars they replaced them for me uh, right away with two others now I have smoked one of them already without doing a review on it <laughs> Because I just couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't wait to smoke it. <laughs> so, uh, this is the last one I have. So this has to go well. But it smells, it smells sweet, almost like chocolate. Uh, so I'm very excited about this. And by the way, the, the one that I smoked of the replacements smoked like a champ. It was excellent. So this is not the first time I've had this, but <sighs> hoping all goes well. Uh, as I said, this is a slightly different, it's just a different wrapper. Uh, with the Maduro wrapper, should lend a little bit of sweetness to this that it might not have ordinarily with the Habano but time will tell mmm mmm right off the bat first puff I get earthy, I get some leather, I get some sweetness, light, mild cocoa, slight touch of spice on the finish. Very sweet on the retrohale. Sweet, I'm not talking sweet like sweet tipped, I'm talking sweet 
smoke. Nice. It's very similar in taste to the Four Kicks original. But as I get a little further in, I'm sure this Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper is going to uh, initiate some changes in the flavors. So I'm going to venture into the first third here. And as you can see, it lit quite well and is drawing quite well. Not anticipating any problems. Hmm. Be back shortly. Welcome back to the cigar area. With the four kicks, black belt buckle. Uh, 46 is the ring gauge on this. Five and five eighths by 46 Corona Gordo. Just want to clarify that. Flavor wise, medium to full definitely uh, there's initial flavors from the first puff earthy uh, leather cocoa and a black pepper spice on the finish the cocoa's nice sweetness running through there really comes out on the retro hail <coughs> very good so far uh, <coughs> Uh, the burn, I want to say it's a good straight burn, but I lost the ash initially about a half inch, fell right off from my lap, of course, and then uh, burned to another good half inch or so and fell off in the ashtray for once. But uh, it's a good straight burn, good draw, this time good draw, thank goodness and uh, good flavor so far so I'm going to venture into the middle of the cigar here and see if we get any changes um, but so far it's very tasty be back <clears throat> okay welcome back to the cigar area with the ground heads for kicks black belt buckle uh, Pretty far into the second portion here. Going to take this first band off. Cause I'm getting dangerously close to it. Okay. Hmm. Bottom band just says black belt buckle. It's the regular four kicks band at the top here. Still pretty straight burn. Not perfect, but. Okay, first of all, in the second portion, that medium to full body strength both tapered down to a to about a medium, uh, medium toward medium full, mellowed out quite a bit. Uh, the leather flavor tapered off. It has a rich earthy tobacco core flavor, and that sweet cocoa still, still there. Still has the black pepper on the finish, but it's a little bit milder. Uh, but it's still black pepper. So it's, it's mellowed out a bit in the second portion here. Gotten a little bit uh, smoother. Uh, no other flavors are coming through to me at this time. It's just, it's, it's, it's got a little bite to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's earthy and rich, but it's not, there's no smooth, creamy, there's no cedar, there's no woody flavor, there's nothing else creeping in here that I can pick up. But it is quite tasty. Uh, nice, good, hearty tobacco flavor 
and the uh, cocoa or the chocolate, whatever you want to call it. And in with a little spice. Quite tasty. All right, you know what? While I'm here, while I'm at it, I'm going to take this band off as well. Before I start into the final third. Same thing with the ash. Uh, holds on for about a half inch and it falls off. And it's probably going to fall off very shortly here. In fact, before I end up wearing it, take care of that. <laughs> um, forget what I was going to say. Well, Maybe it'll come to me during the uh, break here, but I'm going to continue on into the final third. See if we get any changes. I know from experience the four kicks original version tends to pick up some strength toward the end. So I'm not going to be surprised if that happens with this, even if it started stronger mellowed out a little bit could very well pick up again and that would not surprise me with the uh, Nicaraguan blend that makes up the fillers so see what happens be back shortly I'll seem like no time okay welcome back <clears throat> with the four kicks black belt buckle uh, as I suspected in the final third picked up some strength again stronger pepper uh, leather still gone just that tobacco core flavor lost the chocolate cocoa kind of tapered off so right now it's just a strong tobacco core and pepper uh, a little disappointed uh, Burn still good. Smoked very well. I was getting some resin too. Wasn't real happy about that, but it's never a pleasant thing to get on your tongue or on your fingers or your clothes or anything else. But uh, so we started with earth, leather, chocolate, and spice, strong, tapered off to medium with just the leathery, I mean just the uh, earthy core and uh, milder spice that picked back up in strength but the flavors really really tapered off. I have to admit I like the original better. Um, no offense to John Huber <laughs> uh, you know sometimes it's it's a it's an interesting take to put a different wrapper on a blend sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it's, it's a good cigar, but these are about seven, seven fifty a pop. Would I buy another one? No, I don't think so. I'm going to give this an eight out of ten. It's a good cigar, tasted good. Uh, lacked the complexity of flavors I was looking for. I was hoping for a little more. Uh, and I don't know, they're just rolled really tight. And I, I don't know that I don't like getting resin and I don't like the fact that toward the end it just got strong and kind of bitter. Not really bitter, but just stronger and the flavors really kind of died off. But the original four kicks, I always have them in my humidor, always. Um, since they came out, that's a cigar I've not run out of. I always buy them. I, I buy five packs of them. 
and uh, you know when I get down to, to the last one I get another one uh, very good so for the four kicks black belt buckle 8 out of 10 good cigar not a great cigar uh, doesn't stand up to the original I like Connecticut Broadleaf it's a great wrapper it worked for the first half of the cigar but then didn't work with the second half now of course could be this particular cigar could be my taste buds could be a lot of things you know involving this but I have to really draw a lot harder on it now too and when I draw harder that's when the resin comes out so that, that knocked a couple points off but I mean if it's something you can get in a sampler or something like that you want to give it a try it's not a bad cigar at all but not one I'm going to run out and buy again but at any rate thank you for tuning in <laughs> wish I had better news uh, Please check out my other videos on YouTube and on my website, thecigarareria.com. And uh, until next time, try the Four Kicks original. Won't be disappointed. Happy smoking. Dark of fish, cleave, cream, seas, and all I'm left. Doesn't even reach my knees There's too much in this 